quite possibly the most jaw-dropping result in WrestleMania history. The Undertaker streak ends at the hands of Brock Lesnar. The looks on the faces of those in attendance told us everything. Nobody saw this coming. Our next match takes us to the greater Bay Area of Northern California and WrestleMania 31 in 2015. Seth Rollins had been on top of the world ever since he decided to leave the shield behind to do the bidding of the authority. This move paid off instantly as he'd capture the Money in the Bank briefcase in July of 2014. Rollins was untouchable, protected by those in power, and with the knowledge that at any moment he could turn that briefcase into the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. All seemed to be well within the ranks of the authority, but the harmony would not last long. Randy Orton, who had been the authority's top hand until Rollins joined the ranks, didn't seem so happy with the favoritism his former rival was now enjoying. This would come to a head with Rollins attacking Orton following a tag team match, connecting with his vaunted stomp to make it clear that their association was now over. The Viper was furious, attempting to get revenge, but never quite finding it. Another stomp from Rollins would force Orton out of action for a few months, with Rollins bragging about his actions the entire time. But at Fastlane in February of 2015, Orton would make his return following a six-man tag featuring Rollins, delivering RKOs to everyone who got in his way. But as luck would have it, Rollins would manage to escape unharmed. Orton made it clear he wanted one thing, and one thing only, Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Orton wanted to show the authority they made a huge error in backing Rollins instead of Orton, and he was gonna make an example of their new golden boy. The pressure's on. Can you humble Seth Rollins in front of an enormous WrestleMania audience, or will this legend be the one you can't kill? The Stomp meets the RKO. Next. Just like that, Rollins had neutralized Orton's offense and looked ready to pour it on further. What adjustments would Orton have to make now that his RKO had failed him? And would he be able to make them in the moment against Rollins? try for another RKO, knowing that the quick strike would...
Orton had finally put Seth in a bad spot and backed into the corner, looking to deliver his infamous punt kick. It had taken Orton out of action for months. from this event would be that RKO. Nothing was going to change what Orton had done to Seth Rollins. 